Hi, this is Curtis Swan, musician and teacher. Today we're going to be talking about blowing into the mouthpiece of a clarinet. Now, blowing into the mouthpiece of a clarinet takes a little bit of time, but we have to make sure that all of these components and things are in place so that we can hopefully get the best sound possible. Now, the three parts that I have here, even in my hand, we have the mouthpiece, we have the ligature, and then we also have the reed. Now, as you can see, my reed is already fastened to the mouthpiece. It's already adjusted. So what I want you guys to think about when you put your reed and stuff on, don't put it underneath the ligature. Try to put it on top. Adjust the ligature as such so that the reed and the mouthpiece are lined up correctly. And as these things are lined up correctly, you should get the best sound. All right? So now, what I generally tell students to do is just a standard um, armature of the teeth on top and a tucked bottom lip. So as such, we're going to do teeth on top like a beaver. And then we're going to tuck our bottom lip. Now, we must angle the clarinet mouthpiece down because we have to think about the rest. If we would, If we had the rest of the instrument attached, it will be facing down and a little bit out at a like like let's say at a 45 degree angle all right so i'm just going to do this again so teeth on top like a beaver we're going to tuck our bottom lip and then we also have to think about our cheeks so we make sure that you do not puff your cheeks now puffing is detrimental at first because it always blows notes and sounds way out of tune and lots of times I've always had to correct, you know, students puffing out cheeks and they'll do something like this, which doesn't make a consistent sound. And we have to think about when we attach the rest of the clarinet together that, you know, is this going to be a stable sound for you to make as you're trying to make music? So I would advise for people to keep their cheeks and stuff as flat as possible. So now the other thing I would advise people to do is use a mirror. And using a mirror, you can actually just see what you're doing wrong. You can see what you're doing right. You can see what adjustments you need to be able to make as far as anything is, as far as that's concerned. I try to tell students as much as possible, especially in the very, very beginning. But again, they don't always believe me. So using a mirror is probably the best thing to tell a student use a mirror so that you can see what type of adjustments you need to make and get the best sound so again as we do this again teeth on top top to bottom lip so we're just trying to get a nice constant sound nice stable sound and this is all i have for you today so Happy learning. Do it as many times as you need to. Watch this video a bunch of times so that you can just, I just hope for every student who watches this video just, just gets it. So happy learning. I'll see you next time.